What up is Cam and welcome back to another reaction video. It is Tuesday once again and we are going to react to more Family Guy dark humour. If you remember I did a video on this before a couple Wednesdays ago. It was so fucking funny and I I, <laughs> I just can't wait to just see part two because the Family Guy has no fucking chill when it comes to dark humour. It has no fucking boundaries whatsoever. So <laughs> we're going to jump into this. I'm really laughing because I know it's going to be funny. So we're going to jump into this and uh, see, <laughs> just see if it just gets any funnier. Because the first one, I couldn't breathe. Okay, we're jumping straight in. Oh, God. <laughs> but this bear, since I drove by that speed sign. <laughs> oh, here's me getting oh, my first fuck. haircut. Here's me getting my 351st haircut. And here's when I couldn't take no more. I killed that barber. This is my Jew flattening machine. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? It, it's a Jew flattening machine. It, it's not what it's designed for. <laughs> but you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. God. <laughs> it's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back in and out a few times? I was born nine times that day. What? Coward! Oh, I have found fuck. you! Ah! Oh my god, Stoy, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance! This could need stitches! We don't want this to leave a scar! No, there's no time for an ambulance! We gotta take him to the hospital right away! Guys, I'm alright. I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious! He's talking nonsense! Quick, everybody in the car! <laughs> you run like a girl. Ah. Oh. <laughs> run like a man, you get a suit. Hey, what's your big idea? This song's from the 1960s. It shouldn't be in this jukebox. Wait, wait, can I have that record? I love that song. I'll let you have sex with my daughter. I don't know. Let's see what your daughter looks like. She's uh, right there. Okay, I'll do her. But can you tell her to cry and beg me to stop? I think that can be arranged. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Swanson, you're almost there. Push! Push! Get out of there! Get the hell out of my wife, you little bastard! <laughs> Okay, here we go. Hold on, the wheelchair is coming first. Oh my god. And here's the baby. <laughs> Congratulations, Mrs. Swanson. It's a beautiful baby girl. Oh, Bonnie, I'm so happy for you. Oh my god, she's dying. What? Oh, sorry, I was watching this Paula Poundstone comedy special. Woo! To my last night is a free man! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Unfortunate oh, timing. Now, which one of these scumbag <laughs> firemen will go after his fiance? Already happened. We're very happy. New Brian is just a new friend for the family. Trust me, you guys are gonna get along better than Abraham Lincoln and his neighbor. Hey, Dale. I noticed your lawn's getting a little high. Yeah, I used to have a guy for that. Dick. Okay, now, you have a good one. Okay, Peter, I'm off to my book club. You'll babysit Stewie? Only if I can have a popsicle. Only if you say it right. Popsicle. Good. And you better be responsible tonight. I don't want a repeat of the last time I left you alone with one of our children. <gasps> it's just so horrible. I'm sorry, Lois. I thought if I shook him enough, he'd stop crying. <laughs> I was kind of right. And this is the kitchen. We've got all kinds oh. of snacks and cold drinks in here. Well, I don't see the refrigerator. Oh, we just use Ann Coulter. Hmm. There's never anything good in here. Now return to Superman. <laughs> Lois, what's wrong? Clark, we all have breast cancer. The doctor says it's as if our breasts have been x-rayed five hours a day every day for the last three years. Oh, my God, that's terrible. First every woman I've ever known, and now you guys. Look, Tom, Tom, before you do anything crazy, 
Answer me one question. Why is it I have a house and you have an apartment? Yeah, maybe you should jump. <laughs> Lois, no, you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, well, now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel oh, bad my. for laughing at my dad when he went through this. <laughs> ah, dang it. Do you have any idea how fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois or Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's got to be a better way. He's got a knife! Ah, ah, ah. Sorry, Cleveland, it's got to be authentic. Stay down! Oh. Stay down! Ah. Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ah. Oh. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, oh, the whole gang's back together. Just shut up. We don't need you in this town. Ah. Oh, great. I'm gonna oh get killed God. by a cat. He'll never let me live this down in doggy heaven. <laughs> oh. Hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids. Woo! Biting kids! Yeah, unpettable! I miss biting kids. Ugh, the elevator's taking forever. I I'm just gonna use the stairs. There were two homeless people eating each other in there. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black, a black. Go oh ahead. my God! A black. <laughs> well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor, Frank Maxwell. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Hiya! I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Oh! You killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew mouse! Huh? We now return to Meredith Baxter in Raped by a Clown. It was awful. He made me do things. Awful things. What kinds of things? I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> oh my god! Peter, you killed it! Well, you guys relax. He's got eight more lives. Okay, seven more lives. Six. Five, four, three. Peter, stop doing what you're doing. Wait, it'll seem like the cat ran away. <laughs> we'll never get away with that. Oh, we just might. You see, I've got a lucky cat's foot. Okay, but I gotta be home by seven. I'm supposed to talk to the police about that shooting I witnessed. Good Lord, you all right? If I die, leave two dollars worth of flowers right here. Here's my fourth grade class photo. Lean it against a cheap candle. Well, should I call an ambulance? No. Call Channel 9 and have a gap-toothed woman say, quote, he never bothered nobody. I love how all the servers look like celebrities from the 50s. Marilyn Monroe, Elvis, and look, there's James Dean after the accident. Let me tell you about tonight's oh, specials. <laughs> oh, look, Cleveland finally made it. Oh, hey there, Griffins. Oh, my God. Oh, that tape. Oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. There you have it. That is part two of Family Guy Best Dark Humor. Oh, my God. They are... They are there's no cap. There's literally no fucking filter with, with Family Guy. <laughs> the last one. Oh my god, that last one was fucking hilarious. Oh, fucking Christ. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. I will definitely do a part three of this because there's been new Family Guy episodes that have come out and I hope they've done some more dark humour because <laughs> it's, just, it's just amazing. You rarely see you know, uh, TV series that allow dark humour these days because it's either banned or it just gets so much fucking hate even though it's a fucking joke. But, yeah. Anyway, um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, next upload is called The New Wars. I've just dropped on Modern Warfare 2, so I will be getting videos out that for you guys as well. So stay tuned for that. So make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!